This is Miss Balmy, and I'm in the kitchen with yet another recipe. Newsflash, this just in. Yeah. Chocolate still sucks. <laughs> kitchen bitch picked up the apron tonight. Strictly <laughs> <laughs> an Okay, so tonight's recipe is going to be a little bit different. It kind of got me thinking because I watched a video a while back. Ammo had had a. Uh, a, pi a pizza pie video, I think it was called, if I'm recalling that correctly. And that kind of got to me thinking about it. I wonder what other variations of pizza are out there. So I went out there and looked through some of the recipes and came up with this one. This one's called a barbecued pork pizza. Really simple to make. Uh, you're going to need your pizza crust. If you're really energetic, you can make your own pizza crust. You're also going to need some barbecued pork, which you can purchase at the store. Or if you like, you could, you know, slow cook it all day like I did in videos past, right? KB? Mm -hmm. A half a cup of pickles and about a quarter cup of red onion chopped. And also two cups of mozzarella cheese and for those that you like extra cheese put a little extra on there if you don't like onion as some people don't <coughs> Alex, um, you probably could use uh, any kind of pepper that you wanted in there jalapeno for something kind of spicy with a little bit of a bite uh, maybe a red pepper or green pepper which is a little bit sweet give you a little sweetness with that barbecue pulled pork barbecue Jealous saying. So there's many ways of making this. I I never do really good with opening up these. <laughs> so um the okay B. <laughs> In the meantime too, make sure to preheat your oven to 425 degrees. Okay, the prep time should take about 10 minutes. Cook time should take anywhere between 18 to 20 minutes, maybe a little bit longer, depending on how your oven cooks. Overall, it should be ready in around 30 minutes. Okay. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> Alrighty then. I knew you were gonna say that. Okay. So we're going to roll out the dough into a prepared pan. They suggest a 9 by, uh, what did I say, 13? Yeah. Mine's a little bit smaller than that, so I'm just going to have to make do. Just like Chuck. <laughs> you know, Chuck doesn't watch my videos, so I don't know why you're commenting on that. I'm just saying. I also need to put down a little flour, because, like, Super, super, super sticky. Try to roll this out. Maybe I can figure out where the beating is on all these. There we go. It's on the opposite end of the end. Well, here, you're. You know, you used to work at the pizza place, so why aren't you over here doing this? That's because I didn't use that shit. Well, I said if you had time, you could make your, your own. Yeah. But I was trying to, you know, simplify it to make it fast and easy for people who, you know, don't want to spend all day in the kitchen. Like me. Like you. Let's see how you are. Some serious dough going on there. <laughs> You're supposed to just make this work. Yeah, just put it on there. Move this out of the way. And now, um, you got any suggestions on how to make that crust really nice? Nice. Well, maybe just 
if you just unroll it that way, but it looks like it's got thin spots and... Yeah. In a situation like this, I would just make sure you can roll it up on the side so you got... I gotta re renegotiate my contract because I don't believe this shit is in it. <laughs> I don't know whatever you're talking about. <laughs> Renegotiate. Wait a minute. You get paid by having these fabulous dishes that I cook for you. So how much more renegotiating do you think that we really should be doing there? <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, you gotta talk to my con contractual uh, obligation to do uh, Chuck. <laughs> Your contractor or manager? Yeah. Is that what you call it? Yeah, some place to hold all your ingredients in. And like you said, there's probably going to be um, spots where it's a little bit more on the thin side than the thick side. So just try to get that as best as we can. You should grease yours. Pack a little bit on the bottom there so it doesn't stick. So there you go. And then um, you're going to top the dough with the barbecued pork. Sprinkle it with the red onion. So let's get a spoon and spoon out that barbecue pork. That stuff sucks when you use the other stuff next time. Yeah. So it's getting closer to the shoot. So if I don't be making a, if I don't be making a video, if I'm not gonna be, if you don't see me making a video, you know that I'm gonna be busy in the kitchen cooking away because I gotta make all the spaghetti sauce for the lasagna and uh, all the sausage. Get that cooked up ahead of time and I just put that in the freezer until the day comes when uh, we're going to put all the ingredients together and then cook away. I'm not quite sure how many we're going to have for dinner this year. It's always a mystery, because you just never know. I don't think I ever end up with leftovers. I'm like, well, yeah, it's no big deal. We'll just have some leftovers. I don't think we had much left over. I think we had one pan, and that pretty much got killed off the next day, because like people had it for lunch and whatnot, right? Yeah. Yeah, it did. So that's going to be in a couple weeks, and that means that fall is right around the corner. Fall. Ugh. One step closer to, oh, I can't say the S word. Or the W word, for that matter. Okay. Or the C word. <laughs> okay, so just try to get this sprayed out as best as you can. Cover as much dough on your pan as possible. Okay. It's looking really weird, I gotta say. That's not something that I would normally want to put on top of pizza, but I'm kind of curious to see. All right. Then on, on to the next layer, which is our onions. And like I said, if you don't like onions, you could probably do peppers. Sweet, hot, depending upon what your taste is. Make sure you spread that out. Get lots of, not lots, but enough onion on there and enough pork on there so you're able to at least get a taste of everything. Get a bite and you bite down into it be able to taste just about everything. Okay. And then the next layer, they, they're saying to, after you sprinkle your red onions, 
is uh, the dill pickle slices. And then sprinkle the mozzarella cheese last. Pizza dough kind of reminds me of when my grandma used to make the homemade pizza dough. She used to make pizza like this and put it in a, a, a square pan. It was so good, the homemade stuff, man. That was awesome. Did your grandma do that too? I don't know, it was just so good. Just so, so yummy. Juice. All right, and then the last thing that we're going to go on top is to um, sprinkle your mozzarella cheese everywhere that you can possibly get it. I wonder if this is the same stuff that they use like in pork sandwiches. You know, they mean the same ingredients. I don't know exactly how they... There's got to be some similarities to it, I would think. Okay. Let's see, anything new to talk about? Yeah. What's that? You've had a few changes. Oh, um, my big news is I got to conceal and carry. And um, I suggest that everybody that can legally obtain one should obtain one, whether you're a guy or a girl. I took the class, which was really a nice class, and we um, went down to see Jason, Jason Shade. He was our instructor for what, a three-hour course. Um, it was really nice, and um, his, facility, his awesome. facility is awesome. I wish that we, well, I know Eric put some on his channel, uh, a little bit about it, about his facility, or did it not? I haven't done anything. Oh, okay. It was so dark, I... It didn't turn out? I'm probably going to have to do oh, that. okay. Because I, I think we might, Jason, Jason can, because uh, he wants to offer the boys personal training mm -hmm. that Friday before the shoot yep uh, he can he can do up to 18 people inside so our drive would be double mm -hmm. but the facility would be so much nicer air condition who yeah. cares if it's raining and that's the other thing too uh, they have an indoor shooting range and all the time that I've shot I've always shot outside so that was the very first time that I got to shoot indoors five or six bays uh, I believe it was six I'm not quite positive on that We'd have to double check, but yeah, and he um, he's he's very good at what he does. He's very knowledgeable. Um, he's very patient with you. He doesn't make you feel like, um, especially for females, myself, like you know, feel intimidated because you know, most of the time it's a, a guys there and, and not too many gals. So I'd really like to see more gals get out there and do oh. that. Really, Jason. Jason, uh, Jason took your your shooting, mm -hmm. and in less than two minutes of talking to you, and yep. hands on, on, dropped you from like a one inch group to a four inch group. Yep, and that was in two minutes of talking to him. Yeah, he's he he explains things very well on a level that everybody can understand, and um. I suggest strongly to anybody, whether you shot for many years or if you're just a beginner, to you know find somebody like that in your, in your neck of the woods, or if you happen to be up in Minnesota, do check them out. He has um, a video. And a video also that he has um, for so sale. I have a link on every single one yep. of my videos to it. So on the eBomi channel, you can find the link to it. Um, but I just think it's well worth it because I think the longer you shoot and the more that you do it, you pick up a lot of bad habits. 
And, you know, I said that to him right off the bat. I'm like, you're going to see a lot of bad habits. But uh, he helped correct it quite a bit in just the short amount of time that we were there. And he, like I said, he's just spot on with the, with the knowledge. Are you planning on doing a separate video on the other thing? Yes, and I, I'm going to do a separate video so that I got now got my conceal and carry, which also in the state of Minnesota allows you to make purchases on guns. Pot one, but more to come on that. Anyways, here's what the pizza looks like. Getting off track talking about guns. Yeah, I know I'm boring you. Here's the pizza. Put it in the oven. Uh, like I said, I preheated it. Uh, the temperature is 425 and like I said it just depends on how your oven works average time they say is about 18 to 20 minutes so um yeah we'll be back then and we'll see what this is all about and give it a taste I'll make kitchen bitch taste it first yeah yeah <laughs> all right I'm just gonna clean up here and be back in a few minutes and we'll see what the end result is for our barbecued pizza, pork pizza. Okay, back uh, after that brief interlude. Okay, I don't yeah. know what the heck you call it. Happy Whatever. End. A happy ending. A happy ending. So here's what our pizza looks like. gonna try to slide that over there a little bit closer that took about 19 minutes in my oven so we're gonna Where? slice this Where are you cutting huh? Where were you last oh I have one other piece of news to tell you for those of you that Motley Crue fans I went to the last Motley Crue concert the final tour and uh, it was a fabulous show one that I don't think I'll ever forget just saying it's uh, gonna be sad to see them not play anymore if you're a fan if not I know you don't care so plug your ears um, yeah, it's going to be sad not to see them anymore in concert. Very last one. They're wrapping up their tour uh, December 31st in Los Angeles, where it all began. Okay. Give you an up close personal look. And as always, it's going to be hot. <laughs> well, just take a little piece. So anyways, the counter was fabulous. So I'm going to miss them. Um, but I was very glad that I got to see them one last time. And now we'll just find out what kitchen beds thinks about this pizza. <laughs> Eat this, Chuck. <laughs> I don't know why you say that. Chuck does not watch. <laughs> Other than it being extremely hot, it probably should have waited a minute before it cooled off. Um, what do you think? Yeah, it's no good. It's no good? No. Really? No, I wouldn't. It went? I'll be watching TV if you need me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if there's uh, your payment. There's your payment for helping me. It's uh, it's kind of like a pulled pork sandwich. Mm-hmm. Is the crust enough for you? Oh yeah, it actually, okay. it actually turned out really well. Good. No, it's it's like a pulled pork sandwich, but you got all that. So mm -hmm. we're taking some of this with me for lunch tomorrow. Yeah. I mean, this pulled pork is actually pretty damn good. Uh huh. Well, there you have it. Mm -hmm. Right from Kitchen Bitch. <laughs> KB. Mm -hmm. So uh, give the recipe a try. Uh, it's very easy, very tasty, obviously, because yeah, he's yeah. still eating away. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you know, it's like, we wrap, wrap this up? So. Yeah, and um, I forgot to say the, um, the 
person that made the last dish, the barbecue chicken, I did see that you put a comment on there and that you did try it. Two thumbs up. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm away from my computer. I can't recall uh, your name, but I was just excited to know that somebody actually tried one of the recipes. <laughs> see what happens when you get old? It doesn't take much to amuse you. Or me, for that matter. Don't say it. Don't go there. <laughs> okay, so hopefully next time you'll see me either in the kitchen or I will do my video on um, what my purchase was. Maybe in that, couple of us a little range action. Yeah. First shot. Hopefully. Yeah. So till then, this is Miss Bomi saying good night, good eats, wherever you are. Bye.